There are quite a number of new agents uh, investigated and therefore patients should really be aware that the new path and new drugs are studied for them and in the, and in the near future we will have some solution for them. There are a couple of drugs quite interesting for lower risk MDS patients with anemia and these uh, new drugs are targeting a specific pathway that is uh, uh, blocking erythropoiesis, meaning the TGF beta pathway. And the two drugs are quite unpronounceable, but uh, one is uh, Lusacercept, I hope I pronounce it well. But it's a, a very interesting subcutaneous drug that can give transfusion independence or increase in hemoglobin and is under evaluation. There is another drug that is galunisertib that is also under evaluation and has the, more or less the same kind of target. We are really hoping to find again a subgroup of patients by means of clinical and molecular parameters and variables that can be identified as responders. So that's, uh, that's something very interesting. Then there is uh, hope for patients who have a severe thrombocytopenia because the two drugs, the two uh, thrombopoietic factors, el thrombopag, which is oral, and uh, romiplostin, which is sub-Q, are again uh, evaluated for efficacy in MDS patients. And we have preliminary, very good preliminary results also in this meeting. And then for higher risk patients, uh, I think we, we are aiming at combining decitamine and azacitinine with other drugs, still trying to find a combination that may increase overall survival and uh, response. We do not have really a key there, but we are uh, really working hard in combination just to pick the winner of this uh, competition of drugs because there are many drugs that have a good background but we couldn't uh, still find the good one that is really improving results above the hypomethylating agents. And then a big result was obtained a couple of years ago and presented last year here as well. Um, there, was, um, there is a drug that is called AG221 that is targeting a specific mutation, IDH2 mutation, which is a, uh, a gene that is mutated quite frequently in acute myeloid leukemia and a little bit less, but still in MDS. And now a, a, a trial is starting for these MDS and AML patients who have lost response to hypomethylating agents and other, other therapy who have this specific mutation can, can be targeted and of course this is an incredible important study because it's a, it's a molecular and targeted personalized study for this kind of patients. So I already start evaluating my patients for this mutation and uh, you know you think it's rare but then you find it in your patients and you have again another therapeutic offer that is very very meaningful for them and hopefully very successful and effective. The, the preliminary results are very positive.